We live in a fragile world. A world where life is easily broken or damaged. But in the world of vulnerable children, children living in poverty and family despair, life is especially fragile. Brokenness surrounds them. For these children, brokenness settles on them until its weight is too much to bear. Hope becomes its first victim. Pamplona, Peru sits high above the capital of Lima, gazing down on its buildings as they stand next to the Pacific Ocean. The view itself offers hope for the residents of Pamplona. And yet the distance between the two is measured not in miles, but in opportunity. In poverty-stricken places like Pamplona, life is delicate. Opportunity only a dream. Hope is as distant as the setting sun. But for children like Sara Cruz Longaray, Hope, strength, opportunity, healing, sometimes show up just in time. My name is Sara Cruz Longaray. I live in Pamplona, Peru. I am 18 years old. Growing up, my life was hard. I lived with my mother and my stepfather, but they didn't really take care of me. They fought, and I would see my stepfather hit my mother. It was a violent home. My brother and sisters used alcohol and drugs. I didn't know my real dad. He left when I was very young. That made me feel rejected and unwanted. When my mom and stepdad had a little girl, my mom didn't take care of her. So I had to raise my little stepsister. Instead of love and praise from my parents, all I ever got were insults. I felt lonely and misunderstood. Because my parents rejected me, I learned to reject myself. I didn't like who I was. I used to hurt myself. I would cut my wrists, and I tried to kill myself. I didn't believe in God. It wasn't until I had a really bad experience that I started to believe in Him. It was then that I started to question myself. Why was I here? Why did I have so many problems at home? Why was I alive? I started coming to the Buckner Family Hope Center in Pamplona when I was 10 years old. I attended classes where they talked about God. I loved it because I was able to be myself. I was able to express myself without fear. Thanks to the Hope Center, I feel worthy for the first time in my life. I feel like I am able to shine. My caseworker at Buckner tells me that I radiate. Because of how Buckner helped me, I know that my path is full of hope. Without Buckner's help, I don't even think I would be right here in front of you. My mom and I went through lots of problems. But with time, our relationship has evolved for the better. Now we talk. We let each other know how we feel. We listen to each other. I love my family because they have shown me that with love, people can change and become better. 
It is not about being the perfect family. It is about having the ability to change because of love. Someday, I want to be a social worker, a psychologist, so I can help people who are like I used to be. My days are long and hard. It takes me two hours to get to work, but it's worth it because someday I will fulfill my dreams. I go to school and I work. I work at a beauty parlor. At work, I do the basic stuff, haircuts, highlights, and more. What I enjoy the most is to do the haircuts because it changes your personality. People come in with one personality and then after the haircut, they are transformed and they become someone else. I feel grateful for my life, for giving me these challenges. It is because of these challenges that I was able to meet the wonderful people at Buckner. People who have encouraged me and cheer me on during these hard times. I am thankful because God has always been there for me. Mi nombre es Sara y vivo en Pamplona. For Sarah, the hope that had eluded her, that seemed distant as the setting sun, that hope is now real. Sarah found hope, but more than hope, she found herself. But what of the thousands, the millions of other fragile boys and girls still searching? How do we close the distance between helplessness and hope? Can we transform vulnerability to victory? Sarah is proof that the answer is yes, but they can't do it alone.